Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Jet Setter Playing Cards Lounge Edition Limited Back. So it's now that I'm realizing it's actually the back that is limited. And on here, you can actually see on the you can actually see on the seal that it is limited to a thousand, um, a th one thousand. And then you can see the, what the back design looks like. And I actually, I actually do not have any other Jet Setter cards, right? This is a brand. This is a series. Uh, I'm not sure if I would classify it as a brand or a series, but I think I would classify it as a brand of playing cards. And I don't have any of the other ones. This is the nicest one, I think. I wouldn't be surprised given that it is the lounge edition and it is also a limited edition of the lounge edition. Now, I've actually been traveling quite a bit this year, um, both within this country to see family members, but also uh, I traveled outside of the United States for a language trip, and now I'm back, and it made me think of this deck of cards that I got actually on one of my trips away within this country, and yeah, so as you look on the side of the deck, there's this silver, it says Jet Setter Playing Cards, Lounge Edition with the, right, the, the spade with the plane in it. There's some stuff, there's some text on the bottom uh, that is not clear to me. Something about, uh, that it is actually not printed by the United States Playing Card Company, but is actually printed by the Expert Playing Card Company. Yeah, Expert Playing Card Company, which is another one of the more popular brands. And when you open it, you'll see a long flap here. And on the inside it says, welcome to first class. With again, the logo with this metallic silver. I know it might be coming up as, as black in some of the photo, in some of the video, but it is all of these things are metallic silver. You open the deck and you get two jokers, you get one joker on the front of the deck, one joker on the back of the deck, and it's like a uh, boarding pass. I haven't actually tried scanning this QR code, but I will before I post this. I'm not sure what it leads to, but right, so this is Bradley International Airport, um, which is Hartford, Connecticut, to Tahiti International Airport. I'm not exactly sure where that is, um, but these are the jokers, and it says seat 4A, I mean 5A, sorry. Initially, I thought it said 54, but it actually says 4A, 5A, Group 1, and Gate 26, Status Executive. There's a d bunch of different things here, and some of them are actually, um, I'm not actually sure on this Joker, but on the other Joker, there's some Easter eggs of some sorts uh, of things hiding in here. This does say, it says um, here, it says JPC, which could be Jet, uh, jet Setter Playing Cards. Uh, then a number that could be significant, right? Uh, then there's this other one that has some more numbers on it. Um, the gate is eight of clubs. Um, and there might be some other ones as well. All right, so those are the two jokers. Then you get to the ace of spades, which is this spade with the plane, with the jet in, front, in, in it. Um, it says jet setters playing card, luxury brand, and quality decks. Established 2015, so presumably this deck of cards or this brand of cards actually was founded in 28 in 2015. I know there's a lot of other decks from them out, out, but I only have this one deck. The rest of the cards are pretty norm, pretty standard. Uh, when you get to the core cards, you will see a different coloration as there's this silver and this yellow um, for the spades. And when you get to the uh, diamonds, rather, sorry. Um, there is a different coloration as you'll see it's more of a burgundy versus the red that is in a Standard bicycle deck as well as a larger pip And that continues throughout here and then when you get to the court cards a wet as again, there is a different uh, Coloration here same with the clubs With the black cards. It is basically just um, There is a, an enlarged on all of these aces an enlarged pip and then the reds are a different color with a different color court card, just like that. And I'm going to add these jokers back in. I have not actually shuffled this deck, but it handles quite nicely. 
It does not handle like a United States playing card deck because it is not a United States playing card deck. And yes, this is metallic and uh, or reflective. Same with this thin border going around the outside. I don't believe it's a marked deck. It looks like it could be, um, but I don't think it is. And this back design is... This spade with the two jets on either side, uh, mirroring each other, just like so. There's a little inconsistencies, same with like a bicycle deck, where there might be a slightly larger border on one side, so in that way you could try and use it as a, as a one-way back design, but it's not. Um, so then there's planes, and then there's, so on the back design it's a bunch of planes flying in either direction, some flying, to, like, some flying diagonally to this corner and some flying diagonally to this corner or parallel, right? Um, anyway. And then there are spades with the with the jet in it. And these cards handle quite nicely. I haven't had any or many other decks of cards from um, the Expert Playing Card Company. I know some places that have used them or then have stopped. Same with Cardamundi. I know David Blaine used, I think the Expert playing card company and I know he used Cardam and I believe he used Cardamundi at one point as well for his printing but that has gone back to the United States playing card company but it handles really nicely um, very smooth like it was already broken in even though it was not broken in um, riffles yeah nicely it'll do that nicely um, a span will look like this in one direction and the other direction, depending on how far you spread it, you may see some of this here, or you may not. But I really like this deck of cards. This is how it spreads and it fans um, and flips rather easily. Um, so yeah, this is the Jet Setter playing cards. And I really like this deck of cards. I'm happy to be back on YouTube posting again. But... I enjoy this deck of cards, and it's been interesting now that I've traveled, I think, more this year than I have, or I've flown, um, but probably traveled as well, but definitely flown in a plane for longer than I had the rest of my life added together. Um, so it's been interesting, but I enjoyed this deck of cards. I hope you guys did too. These are the Jet Setter Playing Cards, Lounge Edition, Limited to Back. If you guys liked this, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll meet again at the next destination. Peace.